Hello there folks, it's me once again, and welcome back to more Let's Play Vampire. We're doing part 7 this time. Last time we defeated Fergal and we saved the skulls, and we met old Bridget, and we confronted Sean Hampton, and we saved his life, but now he is missing. You know, the farming I'm trying to kill some bad guys. And I'm ready. Alright. We're gonna go to an event. Paxton. We Sean Bishop is dead. He's gone. Save his life. how she became a free one. By the way, how did you sell packed soon became a pre one in the first place? Would someone please explain to me how Giselle became a free one?
And all of these. And Lottie has become a skull. Oh my god, this is bad. This rate, I'm gonna get my butt beaten by those skulls. Take another hit. Like, like Lottie. How did Lottie become a, a skull? She's been turned into a skull. That doesn't make any darn sense. She's at a level 30 and she's literally going to kill me. You don't threaten me, lady. Probably find some blood. Giselle. Doing event first right now, so that's why. There she is. Oh my god. This is totally bad. But why is my game lagging? Oh my god! Yeah, that roar can totally slow me down. I'm trapped. I'm cornered. But not for long. Ouch. I'm doing an event first, guys. Looks like I'm about to die. I'm gonna take one last hit. Okay. Seriously, hate those shooters. They're so annoying. got ultimate power. Okay, 
Oh, there you go. Uh oh. You're going down, Lottie. Ha! Got the key for now. Now it's the free one's turn this time. Got some screws. Fight them. Out of my way, you, you freaks. You're such a nuisance. Leave me alone. I literally cannot believe that Giselle has become a free win. And now Lottie has become a skull. How exactly did that happen, guys? Was it because of of Sean? Blinker skull. I'll have to take him out. Need some blood. Ow. Don't do that. Skull. Gotcha. Yeah, what happened here? Okay, this is what happens when you stare, Sean. You got an old newspaper. It's locked. Alright. Let's check it out in there. Lead plate. Sean Hanton has became a skull. Got a, he's ten times higher than me. Uh oh. Oh no. He's summoned a lot of shadow skull. Whoa. That hurt. Just countered. Not gonna be. Ooh, that's how it hurts. When he roars, he summons a 
lot of shadow clones. Kind of reminding me of the shadow clone jutsu from the first. Now I'm mad. I won't go down without a fight, man. Fight? This is what happens when you spare him. He becomes a stall. Am I right, guys? Like this? <sighs> Finish you off. Boom. He's finished for now. Now we get his key. It's locked, all right. What is the rusted key for? It's locked, all right. How locked? Let's check up there. See. Okay, it's done. We're gonna track the culprit. Now that Sean Bishop is finished. Let's just forget about the investigations for now. I'll just ignore the bad guys for right now. Sean's dead. Giselle's dead. Lottie's dead. 
So this is serious. It's going to be horrible. Lost boys will be more fitting now. Good evenings. Well, I could say the same about you, young man. More to the point, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. And I am Archer Woodbead. Please excuse my assertiveness. I often forget I'm just an old prune. Tell me everything you know about the God of Prewen. Andrew never This is the guy I rescued. Do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training. Access to some impressive firepower. And what is your personal opinion about the guard then? This guard of Prewen is just another gang preying on the young and naive. Preying on people like my boy. I know how it works. I invented it. Mm. Don't have time to talk. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. All right. I'd say we go to the Red Rivers right now. Okay, hang on. Oh, gotta go into the gate. I cannot enter. No, you can't enter. Gate's friggin' locked. Nope. All I gotta do is go on those boats. That way I can go to the North Docks. It's locked, all right. I told you that door is locked, Jonathan. See what I mean? The district goes down to hostile. This is totally bad. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? Yeah. Gotta follow the blood There's trail. There's been a fight here. Yep. This is no time for reading. We see two locked doors and we got Stop right now. It's elite. Three punks right here. Leeches are bugs, not vampires. Don't you know the difference between a leech and a vampire? A leech is a type, a bug that can uh, suck people's blood. A vampire is a monster that sucks people's blood. And they have claws and sharp teeth. But let's focus this time. Prewin Chaplain. He's at a level 22, you know. Occasionally, you make a good point. We're being misled. Or worse, 
You're being baited by leeches playing a nasty game. Hmm. How am I going to deal with him? There are three of them. Let's ambush him. Oh. You're supposed to target them, Jonathan. Yeah. You're going down. You seriously crossed the line with me, man. Yeah? Because you're a high level. Enough. That hurt. Oh my god. Once again, he keeps resisting. Uh-oh. Yeah, he stuns me. Gotcha. Free win scums. You'll never take me seriously ever again. Do you hear me? Oh, let's look at the dead body. A rose? The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. Who could do that? This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. We got Mary's flower. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. They are worn out. Only a golden watch in her pockets. We'll take the watch. A beautiful watch. That's nice. I see you. Who said that? Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. You better win it, buddy. You better. We gotta follow the shadowy figure, guys. Right now, I have to stay out of trouble. Okay. Man. That was crazy. What was that? Who's that I hear? Hang on. Let's see if there are any events. Oh, no. Yes, there are, but I gotta do it for now. Shall I do it? Yes, please. I won't let you escape. Right after I go after the shadowy figure. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. How fast is she? Oh, more prewind punks. <laughs> How low are my friends? No! He's done! Murdering 
What did you call me? Now to finish you off once and for all. By like getting more blood. Booyah. More screw. Okay, guys. Now it's time to follow the shadowy figure. I'm heading they to the Stone Bridge Cemetery. Butchered. But who is this mysterious woman? Let's see here. Are there any citizens in the Whitechapel? We gotta cure Cadogan. Right after. Hmm. Actually, before we do that, right after we follow the shadow figure, that's for sure. I can still sense a presence. Yeah, I can tell. Whoa. Who the heck said that? I feel someone's eyes upon my neck. Still in chapter three. In the name of Christ, someone help me. Joseph Larby. Oh. You what have you done? Vicar Larrabee. What happened? It wasn't me. Demon. Hell Scorch, son of perdition. Vicar, Vicar. Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. Oh my god. It's death, Mary. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary? Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. Precious brother. What is mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. That's hello. Jonathan's mom. Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's you my shut turn up. to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. Yeah. What is that thing? My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. Her husband was murdered. My child carried away by the flu. Your child My promising to died return in his letters by the flu. then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital. Cemetery to cemetery. She's an econ too? Grave to grave. I've lifted like every Jonathan? stone in London searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were. In front of me. On a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> it was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. 
admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Really? Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? How does an apology not suffice? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed. Reunited and complete. Living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge. Vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But you're before, not a your disease, motivations Jonathan. were always pure. Now you're tainted. You're a doctor. Let her go. She has no part to play in this. Yeah, let her go, Mary. Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Really? Yes. I'll go home. And rest. And sleep. <laughs> it's so easy to make Bad them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you but have I digress. Fun. You are mad. <laughs> So that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. Clapping. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. Uh oh. Mary. You just picked up a. S no, don't. Time to a die, cross? brother, and this time for good. Uh oh, we have a boss battle. It's Mary Reed. Killed me, brother. She's at a level twenty-one. It can be very annoying. Ah! Hey, what's this framework do for? Ah! Don't, don't kill him. Ah! You gotta fight her. She's gonna attack you with with her cross. It'll max. It'll destroy your maximum health. That's for sure. What have you done? Abomination. Yes, yeah, she plants out plant blood to attack you. I advise you to watch out. If they explode on contact, quite literally. That hurt. Okay. Okay. Get some blood. Can't believe we're fighting Ring Mary. You're fighting Mary, your own sister? Come to me, Jonathan. Why is she coughing up blood? That hurt. Okay, don't go near the blood smoke. No, I didn't. I need blood. This ought to count you. But oh, you countered me back. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Kinslayer. Oh no. Now I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Yeah, she does a spin strike. Spin attack. Okay, when, she's, when she's done attacking, give it a good chance. Yeah, she's blowing up blood. Blood bombs. Run! Oh. Holy 
crap. Get some blood. Oh my god! He literally... She literally... I failed! I failed, literally! <laughs> One big scream literally obliterated me. That was an instant kill? We're gonna try again. We're gonna stop Mary. God help, please. You killed me, brother. It won't happen again. I'm not gonna lose this time. This battle is intense. She resists a blood base attack. Again, sweet brother. Really? Range combat. She is literally tough. Stop that. All right, keep attacking her. Come to me, Jonathan. Oh my God, she is strong. Assassin. I'm not an assassin. Get more blood. He stopped getting out of my way. Don't kill the Vicar. All right. Rest in peace, monster. I am not a monster. Well, technically, I am. But just because I am a vampire doesn't mean I'm a monster. Come on. Some blood. Kinslayer. This doesn't make sense. Why is Mary vomiting what blood? Done? I've done nothing wrong. I avoid that you yellow part. You're a monster. I am not a monster. I did not murder. Nurse Give Crane. Me your blood, priest. No! You killed me, brother! Don't you dare! Their final thoughts oh are just God. to die for. This is what happens when you when she killed. Kiss me again, sweet brother. She killed the priest? What kind of vampire is she? That's just unacceptable. But she drinks. Blood, she restores her health once again. I'm not exactly sure what to say. Oh, wow. <sighs> Maybe if I can level up. Of course, I should level up. Got plenty of XP.
Don't worry. Okay. Alright then, let's... We should probably... Uh, Alright. Probably go to the hideout for right now. Come on, don't stop, Jonathan! Again? I'll have to get rid of this one first. There we go. Can someone please explain to me why Mary is this strong? Nothing but blinker scales. I can get some more blood so that I can deal with Mary. And he's done like dinner. sleep for now so I could evolve right unlock yeah yeah unlock oh yeah Blood. Of course. Aquarius 2000. All right. Let's see here. Balls cost. You can either do this or that. What do you decide? Two calls. Stunning effects. Yeah, you can only choose one. That's for sure. You can only choose one of these. Spear, Shadow Mist. I'll try that one for size. So that's only worth 1,000. That's 1,000. Oh man. Big Thirst. 900? Are you serious? Heart Biting. 1,000. Try science. Alright. I can carry three serums. Whoa. Total is 12. Cartridge back. The number of bullets.
All right, that's all good for now. The following night, folks. Oh. Hundred percent healthy. Booyah. Oh no. Critical. Oh my god. Yikabod. Fatigue. 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 Five fatigues. Make that five from now on, okay guys? Make that five. Ooh. Make it five, okay? You got five fatigues. I could get one more. Right. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to head back to the grave. And put a stop to Mary. I'd say we gotta get back up there. Gotta get back up. I can't believe I'm doing this. Alright, I'll fight you guys. Whatever. One claw man! Yeah, you're finished. I'm calm now. Is this possible? I can't even go back. Oh, now you can. Sorry about that. I'll deal with that blinker. Punk. Take this. I'm back. Ready to go exact revenge on Mary. For killing me twice. Stop doing that, you... You jerk. How is that tough? Done like dinner. Okay. All right, we're back once again. Got some rat. I had of this thirst for blood. Thirst for blood. Yeah. When you, when you, why do you run into tombstones? They disintegrate easily. Now's the best time to focus from now on, okay? And this time we follow the trails of blood. Hey, what's that over there? A tombstone. Near lies the remnants of Giselle Paxton, 1889 through 1918. May she rest in peace. Here lies in the remains of Lottie Paxton, 1894-1918. Wow. So many graveyards. I'm coming, Vicar. All right, now it's time to go down. The 
Better hope for the best, guys. She's very tough. What do you think? Ooh, she resisted. I'm gonna wipe that smile off your face. You left me to rot in this grave. Why would I do that? Seriously, why? He resisted. Kiss me again, sweet. But she's half no one hell. You burned away Nurse Crane's mind. You're a monster. You think I'm a monster? Ooh. Oh my god. Rest in peace, monster. Who are you calling a mo- No! Give me your blood, priest. Oh my god. See? See, this is what I mean. I cannot believe it. She is totally fast. And I'm about to fail. And if it wasn't for her, I would have saved the vicar. Yeah, me, every time Jonathan. she uses that move. Me, yeah, yeah, every time I claw her, attack her by clawing her. Oh my god, she resists! No matter, no matter how many times I claw her or use a stake on her, she resists! Man! What is up with you? You can't use that. Oh my god. Third time I died. Seriously, how the heck do you beat this? Mary. How do you beat Mary? How am I going to beat her without having the vicar being drained away of her blood? Of his blood by a by an econ vampire. How am I gonna save that vicar? Maybe if I can find some rats. I need some, I need to get some rats. This is despicable. Come on. I have this thirst for blood. No, I'm not gonna fail again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? You what are you doing? Me, Still attack her. With your sword. But not a heavy weapon. Stop that. Okay. 
Stop lowering my health, Mary. Right, I need more blood. I won't fail. Come to me, Jonathan. All right. You left me to rot in yeah, I heard them yelling when well, she screams. You're a monster. Damage you really badly. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Oh. Really? Give me your blood, priest. This is what happened. Yeah. You can't Final save the vicar. You can't save the vicar no matter how many times you try to defeat Mary. No matter how you try to do it. No use. How is she this strong? Kinslayer! How does this make sense? I gotta get some more blood. I'm gonna fail. I don't even have blood left. Give me blood. Alright. Better try the combo attack. I'm literally annoyed. Why does she drain away my maximum health? This doesn't even make sense. Okay. Keep trying. Come to me, Jonathan. Run. Stop that. Oh no. Why do you keep kidding me? I'm starting oh, this is starting to irritate me. I friggin' hate this boss. It's impossible to dodge her attack. Unfreaking believable. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Let's use the serum. Not like I have a choice. Ooh. This is so annoying. Okay. What have you done? Keep throwing up blood. I'm making blood bombs. Using roses as blood bombs? Why do they roses exactly? Oh, the rose bomb. Blood rose bomb. Is this what I do call? Let's use that ultimate. Move on. Come on. Oh my god, that hurt. Don't expect the same mercy from me. I know. That's what I did last time. Spared Sean Hampton, and then he became a skull. How is that necessary exactly? Oh my god. Nope, didn't have a choice with you. Sam. Sorry. As if. Ooh, that freaking hurt. Oh my god, stop that. Seriously, no dodging, Mary. I'm getting irritated. Rest 
when you use a heavy attack, when she's, when she's spitting out blood, you can't use a heavy attack because she will resist. Man, this boss battle is starting to get on my nerves. Ow! Oh darn it, I'm about to fail! Not complaining. Uh-oh. Take one last serum. The show resists all right. Uh oh. Okay, now drink her blood. That hurts. Finish her off. Got some rich blood sample. Her weapon's destroyed. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end forever. Forever? You know I will not play this game. Oh, he Come won't. Now, doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the harbinger. Is she mentioning Lady Ashbury? Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. Uh oh. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. You had no choice, Jonathan. Then, at last, I can forgive you. She's gone. She's dead, Jonathan. Too bad. You don't have a choice, man. You really don't. Okay, all I gotta do is move. Don't stop. You're gonna have to put her in the coffin, okay? It wasn't just a cutscene, you just have to move. Get over to the coffin so that Mary can rest in peace. A few nights later. Did you load already? I honestly don't understand why. Why you had to fight your own sister, Jonathan. Would you load already? Yes, there we go. Blood. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. As 
the cutscene. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. So, that, so there you have it, folks. Chapter 4 begins. Rising Fever. The Great Hunt. And... We're doing the Great Hunt. Read your mail. Gotta meet her in the West End. Let's check the citizens menu. <gasps> oh my god. Fatigue again. Headache. Another headache. Three headaches. Shaoshan has a cold. We gotta cure those folks. All we get is blood serum. Okay, this time I definitely need to, need to cure those folks in the Pembroke Hospital. Thelma has a headache. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. I need blood, Doctor. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? My condition cannot be understood by you, mortal. This curse is beyond your science. Well, until the day science finally admits failure, please accept this little contribution. Thank you, Doctor. Your efforts are admirable, though laughable. <laughs> laughable. I'll leave you, Miss. She said laughable. Good evening. And good evening. Dr. Strickland's sick. Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? I would have been confused if anyone other than you had asked that question, Dr. Reed. But your help is welcomed. Of course. There is no shame in helping each other. We're colleagues, after all. Many doctors I had known are too cynical to think that way. Goodbye. Gotta cure Mortimer. Buddy. Good evening, Mr. Go I'm okay. I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. Tell me more about it. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to understand what I feel. Don't you see how lucky you are? You're rich, you're in good health, and you have a loving mother. You're simply drowning in self-pity. Leave me alone then, Doctor, and let me drown myself. Don't do it. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. You are not a... And you have... Ah. Uh, I have to... I think I've heard it again. Waste your time with me. For the second time, at least. Let's see here. Dr. Tibbetts. He has a bit of a headache. Where's Dr. Ackroyd? Who 
Where the heck is he, guys? Ah, there you are, buddy. Good evening, Doctor. Re Do you need any medical assistance? You're yes, indeed. I have no doubt about it, but you are still ill all the same. Please take this medicine. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Reed. To be honest, I just did not take the time to diagnose myself. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. True. We only got two chapters to go, guys. It's only a matter of time before the Pembroke closes his door. Probably go to the docks. Stores were good. Can you remind me why we still work here? Dr. Reed will help straighten things out. Uh oh. Three wins. Those guys are at a level 23. And this big beast is gonna irritate the life out of me. And my game is lagging. What is up with that? Seriously. Yeah. It took two seconds. This time. Oh yeah? Try me, man. Seriously? Stop with the shooting. Oh yeah. You punks are t are done. Let's check our map, please. We're still heading to the docks. Better go home, sir. Over there. This Three wins. I'm not the. Lousy skulls. Do they seriously expect me to die? Okay. Kaboom. So many enemies out there. Okay. Please, sir. Can't let you through. How do you like this, man? Give up. There we go. Stupid beast. Oh, yeah. Okay. All good. One more. Easier said than done. Good evening. Hello again. Can I offer you my medical help, Miss Cox? Giving out for free? You'd make a poor businessman, Dr. Reed. Perhaps I would. Please take this. You will feel better. Thank you. But don't expect me to owe you anything. 
Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, ma'am. Here. Gotta find Ichabod. Tom. Tom's got a cold. Sabrina's got a cold too. Teague. Teague. And Martin. God, I'm curing Martin. Welcome. Do you need any help? <coughs> it can't be good for business to see the bartender cough in your beer. Nasty. Indeed, it would be a shame to taint the delicate taste. Oh, thank you, Dr. Reed. My customers and I, we all thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Watson. Sabrina. She just run as... You still working at this? Do you require medical... Don't feel so good if you have to know. I knew that keeping the bar open with the epidemic wasn't a good idea. Take this, it'll help. Perhaps you should think about closing the turquoise turtle for a while. Tom always said we've got to keep the doors open. <clears throat> but thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Where's Dyson? Where the heck is he? He's missing! What happens when you spare Sean's life? Let's talk to Archer. Good evening, Mr. Good evening to you. Do you need my medical... Unfortunately, yes. The spirit is willing, but the flesh, well, you know. <laughs> Nobody is immune to disease. There's no need to be ashamed of that. Well, thank you, Doctor. Now maybe I'll live another day or two. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Okay. Now we can find Stella. There she is. Hello, Rufus. Good evening, Mrs. Fitt. Of course. Just square eyes on the back of that head, sir. What can I... Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? One night, he told me straight up, in his own words. How has your son become a murderer? Episodes. Kind of episodes. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his hate, his rage, how he feels when he's done it. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his. Uh, Demons. Mrs. Fishburn. I am afraid. I am, Doctor. I don't feel well at all. Then let me give you a prescription. I thank you for your generosity, sir. It's something this part of town truly needs. Next is Ichabod. Oh my god, it's critical. But, from now on we're gonna go to that event. After we defeated Mary. Okay, hang on. Did you erase already? Thank you. That's a dead end. OK. 
Okay. All right, this time. Okay. Go over there. Oh, great. Talk to Swansea. <laughs> I'm out of blood. Get off me, you scum. Ouch. Kablamo. Got some water sturdy blood sample. Finsbury right. Gate. Stable. All right, right now, I sense presence coming by. Him. You must prepare, child, for the earth bleeding and the harvest is upon us stay away whoever you are this is no time for petty quarrels my champion can you not hear the famished queen has awoken i am not your champion but of course you are son as surely as you are the blood of my blood I had to kill Mary. I have no You didn't have a choice. Child. I told you that from Do the beginning. Not Silence! I dismiss you now! The land Silence! I dismiss you now. All and everyone needs you. That's one of my favorite lines in this game. Silence! <laughs> I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Not a fan of puppet shows. All right. Where exactly can I go on this bridge? Yes, my game is lagging. Get your stupid teeth off of me, you skull scum. Keep dodging. Knock me out again. Alright, that's it. It, man. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting better, guys. What's the matter with you? Deal with all of those enemies. 
Probably need to go in there. Let's see what we got here, shall we? Grease and some shards. Oh, wow. Low health. Give me blood. Gotcha. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's locked. I cannot enter. No, you can't enter from that side. So, what exactly? Okay, here we go. What exactly can I do to go to the other side? Yay, the door is unlocked. I get it now. You have to go to the other side. Come on. Let's see if I can check my map. My game was loading. The heck? Now I can check this one one last time, shall I? No, 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 I don't have time. There's a train up there. All right. Let's see if I can check this one more time. Find Ichabod. Blood sample. 
Oh, I remember that one episode of Demon Slayer where Tanjiro tries to fight these demons just to get their blood sample. For Tameo. Right? <sighs> Unfortunately, I I need to go over there. And here we got a rogue Volkoid. New enemy, Volkoid. Volkots. They're gonna be very annoying, guys. Give me your blood! He's got strength. But he's gonna punch you and stomp on you. I hate those guys. Passion. They will claw you. Pretty slow, but strong. I hate those new enemies. Yeah. You gonna do bite me? Ha ha! Fell on your back, jerk. It's locked. Door's freaking locked. Ichabod is totally sick, so I gotta go uh, go help him. It can be annoying how we fight these annoying punks. Get lost, punk. Right, come on. Just resisted. Stop dodging. That door is locked. It's locked, all right. It will not open from the other side, so. So there. Why do doors have to be locked from the other side the next day? I mean, what's up with that? Bam. Go. Good evening. Dr. Reed. Do you need my med? Actually, I may. Treating a vampire hunter's wounds is certainly a first for me. I'm happy to help you, of course. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Your support means a lot. Goodbye. Have a very good night, sir. Better save Martin. I'm glad I unlocked that door.
Uh oh. See them fancy clothes? This one's a top. See this one with fancy clothes? This one's top. Lottie betrayed you, Jonathan. Gotcha. She saved Rodney's life. Martin. Hey, buddy. Oh, gotta get downstairs. That's right. Stupid loading screens. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. <laughs> He's not young. Young man, do you require medical attention? I don't like asking for help, but I don't want to be one of those poor sods dying in the streets. There's no shame in asking for help, especially when you are in desperate need of it. Here, take this. You should recover in no time. Thank you, I suppose. How about thank you, sir? Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. Okay. He's got a music box. Vampire factions and skulls. Page probably stolen from some sort of manual or guide. Rivet. Brisk blood sample. Thank you. How tempting. Check this one one last time. Pierce, we gotta go see Cadogan and Mission. We gotta get out of here, Jonathan. Good evening, Miss Gillian. Of course. Well, at least I, at least she's fine. It's locked, all right. Yep, totally locked. You better get out of here, dude. The least I can do is get on top of that bridge. Highly resistant to the blood move. Come on. Any more blood, please. Stop that. Thank you. I love this move. It's awesome. doing
You're finished, Pazzy. Shut up. Stupid skulls. Uh oh. You're not coming after me. Okay, you're going down. Seriously? Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's go up on that bridge. Could you please let me go in that bridge? Oh wow. The hint's lost. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I get it. All I have to do is get inside. There's Dyson. He's been turned into a beast. Drink. 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 How did he get turned into a beast exactly? You left me no choice, man. Now to betray me. You're turning into a big beast. What a werewolf. Try this on for size, man. Oops. Yeah. Out of blood. Better, better dodge that roar. Uh oh. I won't die. Good riddance. Unfortunately, we're out of here this time. We won't be seeing Dyson again. Darn loading screens. It's as if nobody cared. <laughs> Try me. Oh, 
Yikes, that's it. Whenever he's blocking, I advise you not to use that move. Especially with your attack or your sword or your stake. How do you like that? Hmm. I think it's about time we get the heck out of here. Stay with the fire executioners, they're so annoying. for this right now, so we gotta get out. I don't have time to talk to Dr. Swansea. Come on, please load. This is seriously not cool. This is where I'm going to use my ultimate move on these blinker skulls. Don't even think about cutting your chickens before they hatch, um. you man. Switch this weapon to see here. Attack speed, the attack speed fifteen. Fine. Maybe I'll try the hatchet. That slows down. Slow, but strong. Got it. I'll just get rid of it from now on. So this is where we defeated uh, Sean. Pray we won't be seeing him again for very long. Okay, 
open up that door. Oh my god, he is strong. That really hurts. Don't do that to me. Goodbye, beast. I honestly don't like the sounds of screeching skulls. Or even Escalons. Or Ascalons, that is. Before I head to Lady Ashbury's mansion, I cannot enter. Oh, you can't enter. Right. We'll have to go to the other side. So now, gotta go into this building. It's raining. Go away. And don't fight me. Oh, leave me alone. And why of the loading screen? Okay, fine. I'll deal with you. You get your selfies claws off me. I'm literally out of blood. It's locked. And we even got a new hideout. to go over there. I have to go to the Lady Ashbury's mansion. Who's that guy? They want war. I'll show them war. It's a vampire. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Nope. All the dead bodies. Nothing but pre when Get it off. Why are these pre wins after me?
That hurt. I cannot enter. No, you can't enter. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we're actually going into Ashbury's home. So that's her mansion. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There She's are many painter. things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. Since when did she buy a mansion? I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady. You can call her Elizabeth. did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. The chairman of the Ascalon Club is... Redman. Redgrave. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. 
The god of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then Ooh, it is settled. Elizabeth. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. My heart's pumping. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. So now Jonathan is going to be heading to the Escalon Club just to meet Redgrave. to visit the Ascalon Club. Shadow Cabinet. A blood econ. These guys are going to be very annoying. Stupid newborn! New enemies! <laughs> Hate those guys. He has a sword. He will attack you and use he will slash you, stab you. You're feeble. Let's 
gonna use his... He's gonna use Blood Spear for sure, which is annoying. Maybe it's best to dodge that. Those new Econs. They're evil. I hate those guys. Bad Econs. He just killed that Ascalon just killed one of those free wings. Your territory. I'm gonna kill you. Who do you work for? Oh my god! And he's starting to annoy me. Dead. Can I prevent, present myself to Stupid, the Ashalon Ash Club? Take that, you econ scum. That's a pre win exterminator. At any rate, we're gonna go talk to Dr. Swansea. Elite! Elite! All right. Stay away from me and stop loading. And if you keep loading, I mean. Why do you have to load all the time? That doesn't even make any damn sense. We found one. The beast must die. Yeah, I have to get this off. So I don't get confused. God with me. Leave me alone already. What is up with you? Hold up. Those punks, they never learn. Stay away from me. Come on, load. Ouch. That's what I like. Blood. 
That hurt. So many corpses on the ground. Swansea. Hello, Jonathan. That tense, to say the least. I am sure every obstacle. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Oh, the legendary founder of the Ascalon Club. I'm afraid I cannot help you with that, Jonathan. So you do know him? All the Brotherhood knows about him is highly confidential. He is dangerously intimate with the royal family and Britain's inner circles. Are you afraid of him? Is he that dangerous? No, but since most ancient vampires were killed or fled England during the Great Hunt of 1850, he may be the oldest British vampire. A myth in the flesh, so to speak. What can you tell me about the Great Hunt? A sad story, my dear friend. Tragic, in fact. The Brotherhood was betrayed by some of its most trusted members. Why was it a tragedy? Not only did the Guard of Prewen hunt down and kill most ancient vampires of England, they also destroyed or confiscated their possessions. Priceless knowledge was lost in just a few nights. Tell me about the betrayal. The founders of the Guard of Prewen stole precious and unique documents and reports from the Brotherhood's library when they left. They used them to identify and locate their next targets. Did you know that Lady Ashbury is an artist? And rather a good one? Well, actually, yes. I attended an exhibition of her paintings before the war. Beautiful landscapes and, and stunning portraits. I wish I had purchased one. Perhaps we could go to her next exhibition, you and I. What a beautiful idea, Jonathan. Did you know she told me once she had been a model for famous painters? <laughs> but she never told me which ones. I shall return later. Thank you, Edgar. All right. I think it's about time we rest, okay, guys? Twenty-two. Huzzah! Level twenty-six is required. Literally. The following night. Now all the folks are cured. So we're healthy at least. Wow. Now Booth Digby has a cold this time. And Ronnie Grader has a cold too. 
Oh my god. Gotta heal Kadogan. I gotta heal Christina, Clayton, Harry, Darius. Gotta go back. In this stable right now. Bates has bronchitis. Gotta get the bronchitis. Cure. folks that's it I'm ending this stream and ladies and gentlemen my name is Gable gaming 5000k I will see you in the next video at any rate I will meet you I'll meet you in the next video what I I'll meet you in the next video by go after I went go to the uh, Escalon cl Club. What? Well, but before I go in, in the next video, I'll cure the citizens. For now, I'll cure all the citizens, please. Okay, guys. See you then.